Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm gonna be showing you how to install Windows 8 Developer Preview uh, in VirtualBox. Now you you can download two versions of this Windows 8 Developer Preview. I'll be sure to put a link down below to download Windows 8 Developer Preview. Now you have two versions, as I said before, 32-bit and 64-bit. If you are if you have 4 GB memory module installed in your computer, I would say go for 32-bit. But if you have 8 GB or more, I would say go for the 64 bit. All right. Uh, now let's go ahead and first step is to launch the VirtualBox. Of course, if you don't have it, I'll be sure to put the link down below in the description. And after you open VirtualBox, go ahead and create a new. Click on continue and uh, give whatever name you want. I'm going to be naming Windows HDP1. And make sure the version is at Windows 7 if you have the 32 bit. If you have the 64 bit, select the 64 bit and respectively. So click on continue. And the RAM, you can allocate it up to uh, 4 gigs if you have 8 gig a mod memory module installed. But I'm going to be uh, keeping it 2048 because I have 4 gigs installed. You guessed it. Now click on continue. And go ahead and click continue again. And click continue right there. Continue. And let the hard disk be like that. If you want to increase it, you can do that right here. Click continue. Create. Create. That's done. Now go ahead and hit start. After you do that, click OK to get that pop up. And go ahead and click continue. And here, don't click continue here. Stop. Select this folder button. And navigate to your uh, Windows 8 Developer Preview ISO. Click Open. Click Continue. And select Start. And after you select Start, your um, setup will get started. Um, so I'm going to cancel. Let's wait till the setup gets started. Right there it is, booting up from the ISO. All right, now that we have it loaded up, let's go ahead and uh, select Windows like that. Go ahead and hit Next. Click on Install Now. And your set initial setup should start. Uh, so, it is starting up. All right, now that we have um, uh, the license terms, go ahead and Click on I accept the license term, click on next, and select custom advanced right there, and select your hard drive. Of course, you have only one hard drive, so click next. And there we go. It'll be, you know, it'll install Windows for you. So I'll be right back once this is done. All right, guys, after you have just installed Windows 8, um, just go ahead and close the virtual machine. And after you do that, just go ahead and select your virtual machine. Select on settings. And uh, wait till settings do. This is the last step. And go ahead and get to, oh, well, let's see, storage. And after that, you should see this IDE controller where you'll see Windows uh, developer preview. Just go ahead and delete that. We don't require it. And after you do that, click OK. Okay. And you will be, be and you will be booting Windows 8 on your virtual box. So it's booting up right there. Okay, guys. Now we just went through the uh, driver uh, installation and all those processes which are unwanted for this video. So uh, after that, that was done. I it uh made me get into this uh, personalized page. Now, first step is to uh, give a computer name, so I'm going to be naming it Mac Mini. And go ahead and select Next, right there. And I'm going to be using Express Settings and uh, Email ID. I'm not going to do anything because I don't have one. So, Local Account. And go ahead and give it a username. So. Okay, so after you have given your username, password, and your password hint, go ahead and select next. 
and it should finalize your settings. So, let's wait till it finalizes it. All right. I think it's rebooting. Ah, uh, no. Here we go. It's signing me inside the uh, virtual machine, so this should take a while, so I'll be right back once this is done. Alright guys, so just log me inside my Windows 8 user account. So first thing that I saw was this new start menu. This looks pretty cool. You can just get back to your desktop right there and go to this new um, start menu. It's pretty fantastic. I'm really liking it. Well anyway, uh, if you had done this, if it worked for you, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe and I will catch you guys later.